just don't, I don't want to know that. Well, why don't you want to know? So that you can continue to do what you've been doing that's contrary to the word of God. So don't tell me about that. Amen. There's some consequences. Amen. To ignorance. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Romans 10, verse 17. What it says. But without faith. No, that's not what it says. <laughs> See, y'all wasn't even there. Huh? So then faith what? Come by hearing and what? If I'm ignorant of the word of God, I have no foundation for my faith. Amen. I have to hear the word of God in order that I might establish my faith in the word. So then when something comes up against me, I got the word on it. Amen, amen, amen. Another, another thing, another thing that happens that as a consequence to uh, being ignorant is you become a candidate for the fear tactics of the devil. <laughs> Amen. See, some people believe that the devil is uh, om omnipresent, omnipotent, and he not. But if you don't know the word of God, Amen. He going to get you into fear. He going to trick you. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. <laughs> Amen. What you say? Amen. The devil will trick you into getting into fear, knowing that the Bible says that fear doesn't come from God. Over and over again, I hear Jesus say, be not afraid, Karen. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. Don't stress out. Fear not. Why? Because there's no need for you to fear. Because he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So, so the Father is with us always. And so the devil wants you to get into fear because guess what? If you're in fear, you're not in faith. And if, you, if you're not in faith, you can't please God. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Look what it says. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now watch this. The only way that Satan can take advantage of you is if you don't know what your rights are. If you don't know what your covenant rights are in, in Christ Jesus, after you accept him as Lord and Savior of your life, if you don't know, the devil will take advantage of you. And he'll move you like a puppet. Back and forth. Back and forth. Why? Because he's trying to destroy you. Go to 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5. Now watch this. The only people that he can devour is those who remain in ignorance. Because once I know who I am, once I know of the authority that I have, the devil can't, the, the, look, he can't devour me. Amen. First Peter chapter 5, verse number 8. Look what it says. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Amplified says, be well balanced, temperate, sober of mind, be vigilant and cautious at all times. For that enemy of yours, the devil, roams around like a lion roaring in fierce hunger, seeking someone to seize upon and devour. Now, in watching the animal kingdom, <laughs> praise the Lord, I watched the little lions on the Serengeti. And they try to trick the, 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 the prey into thinking that I'm coming after you when they really after somebody else. And it's only the weak that get devoured. And even in the church body, amen, the ones that get devoured is the ones that are ignorant. They just don't know. They just don't know. 
that all I got to do is pull out this sword of the spirit and cut the, the lion head off. I stop all that. But if I don't know that it's my, I have that authority based upon the word of God, then the devil will devour me. Amen. I, 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 look, listen, I'm telling you, it, it, it costs to be ignorant. It costs to be ignorant. And you don't have to be. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Not only that, but it robs you from being successful. These are consequences of ignorance. It robs you from being successful in doing things that have never been done before. Amen. It robs you of the opportunity of doing things that have never been done before because you're ignorant. Ignorant of God's word. Amen. Now, I'm not calling any, any of you ignorant. I'm just saying. So when I say you're ignorant, I'm not talking to you. Amen. I'm just making a point. But even if I have not done a thing, if I know the one who made it all and I follow after him, guess what? He'll, he'll give me wisdom and insight on how to do that thing. Amen. And even if others have failed along the way doing what God told me to do, because I'm not ignorant of his word and, and, and my ability in him, then it doesn't matter what others have done. Because the Bible declares, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Mm, mm, mm. And then finally, finally, uh, consequences of ignorance. As I said before, the church becomes a social club. Amen. And you, you, you can see it. You can see it in some churches. I mean, if, you, if, you're, not, if you're not rolling like everybody else. Yeah, you know, yeah, it don't matter. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Woo Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay, okay. Go to uh, uh, Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 1. Let's, let's walk through some words to see, first of all, that God doesn't want us ignorant. Amen. Let me say, before we read the verse we're going to read, for those who say that God is strange and mysterious, and he works in mysterious ways, yeah, that just lets me know the level of your ignorance. Now, now again, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not putting you down, but I'm just saying, we grew up in church, and they gave us these cliches, and, 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 and never showed us the scripture. Now, my, my thing is always, Sean, if he wanted to be mysterious, he wouldn't have wrote 66 books to tell us about how he is and how he operates and who, how he loves us and all that kind of stuff. If he wanted to be strange and mysterious. Yeah, just be mysterious. Just, you know, just, you know, and, and then, then people try to get spooky in church. Woo, the, you know, no, no. <laughs> but God doesn't want us ignorant of who he is. If he did, he wouldn't have wrote the books of the Bible and said, hey, this is how I operate. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Look at verse number 13. Romans chapter 1. Look what it says. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purpose to come unto you but was let, uh, let here there too, that I might have, have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. But I just want to look at the first part. Paul says, I don't want you to be ignorant. All right? Amen. All right? Now, go to Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Let's start at verse number 1. Romans chapter 10, verse number 1. When I'm ignorant of God's word, watch this now, I will establish my own standards. See, that's why people don't want to know the word. 